What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And just to kind of shoot off at the mouth more about Sydney Prescott since I love that character to death. Uh, those of you who want her to be like more heavily involved this time around than how she was in Scream 5. Let's just explore something that I guess you might be on board with if it means she'll have more screen time. What if Patrick Dempsey's character, Mark Kincaid, is one of the Ghostface killers going into Scream 6? In the sense that, of course, that would mean the, we're assuming that they've secured him, Kincaid will be back, and the narrative will have something to do with him. We're just talking, of course, hypotheticals at this point. But let's say they explore that. You have the film centered around Sydney, Sam, Tara. Sydney's attacked in the opening. Mark isn't present for this, but he ends up making it back home after Sydney has managed to escape the attack from the Ghostface killer, who at this point in my head has escaped. Nobody is caught. Nobody is killed. And Mark comes home and that just creates suspicion around him early on going into the movie. This would also then spark a phone call from Gail Weathers at some point in the movie to Sydney to let her know that it's starting again and Sam and Tara in danger. Sydney, just off the off the basis that she got attacked in at the start of the movie, could just want to go out there and help them just off knowing that she herself is not safe. So she might as well go out of her way to help other people who are also not safe she's she's already helped them before and because they could also give us this development that gail and sydney have actually grown closer since dewey's passing they were at his funeral together we can actually hear that do that sydney and gail were collaborating with each other to help gail write this book that she wrote that was about dewey like she expressed interest in doing it at the end of the fifth movie that could all be used as a way to justify sydney's existence here in this movie and then to wrap it all up you could have someone who, again, is a very close individual to Sydney end up being one of the killers. And this time it would be her own uh, devoted husband, Mark Kincaid. Now, I don't know how many of you would feel about that. But again, this is just going off of the idea that so many people still think that Sydney should be heavily involved in some capacity. But the thing about the, a character like that is that this character has worth. This character has meaning. She does not need to just be there for no reason. You need to come up with a strong reason saying that her husband is one of the ghostface killers of course would obviously be a very strong reason as to why you ultimately had her in the movie maybe it's a question mark throughout the film as to why sydney is, is here so much when this narrative really seems to have nothing to do with her outside of just the opening attack but then you wrap it all up in a nice way by giving us a character who is one of the ghostface killers and it's her own husband this would be a perfect way to again strongly justify her existence in the film once again and and when i say existence i mean why she's here more so than in screen five because in screen five the amount of screen time she got was was acceptable when considering her relevance to the overall story and the overall motivation of the killers now when hearing what mark would say as it relates to his motivations i'm certain this would have something to do with maybe a marital discretion that went on between him and sydney maybe something else involved with his line of work and how sydney impacted that and that's why he donned the ghost face mask to seek revenge or something something of that sort something along the lines of what we've already gotten before but somehow spend to make it fresh i'm just again trying to look at a way that you could justify and satisfy those people who want to have sydney prescott involved so much more than she was in the fifth movie but you need to at the same time have a strong reason sydney is such an important part of this franchise that it would feel kind of disrespectful to her in my head to just have her here for the sake of being here in the sense that you haven't even established that she cares about the characters that she's here to help let's say they do that you haven't established that she's been in contact with them since the events of five let's say they do that you haven't even established that she was in contact with gail after the events of five they could do that all of those things if it were to be handled like that in my head is how to not do that you would need to establish strong connections between sydney and these new characters that we know that you could tell us have been developed off screen in between the events of five and six that way for me as a person watching the movie and knowing that a lot of these screen movies have been heavily regarded 
are heavily involving Sydney and the sins of her mother and her suffering for the sins of her mother, which have all lived up to be justifiable reasons and strong reasons why these films were about this character specifically. Now you are at least giving me something that says, hey, well, and now at least it makes sense for her to be here helping these people. But if Sydney just shows up off of a phone call and she hasn't had any contact with these characters since the events of five, that's going to seem very weak. It's going to seem very hollow, in my opinion. It's going to seem very forced in the sense that you are only doing this for the sake of selling tickets it's going to signal to me you have no faith in your new cast You're, you have no faith in your new characters and again just depending on how it all is executed will be ultimately how i decide to say yep you brought sydney back just for the sake of box office attraction purposes and i think sydney prescott as a character is, is worth much more than that i think she deserves much more than that so that's why if you think that you would be on board with sydney being involved a lot more going into scream six if Mark Kincaid isn't one of the Ghostface killers, what would be your way of establishing a strong reason for why she's here so prominently, similar to the first three films once again, which I don't think they're going to do. But let's say they were to do that. And then ultimately the killer reveal comes and it has nothing to do with Sydney. It just feels like a waste of time because it seems like the character now was just here for the sake of being here. And again, this is also just going off of assumptions that they would have at this point in time established that she hadn't even been in contact with Sam and Tara in between five and six. Let's say they also make it a point to show that she has no real interest in those characters as a whole. So then she just shows up because Gail calls her and ultimately because of the fact that she wants to help Gail Weathers. I mean, while it's serviceable, it's not it's it's going to be one of the weakest excuses that Sydney's got involved. You're going to be fine with it in the sense that if you don't care about how the character is written, you're just fine that she got more screen time. That doesn't really matter at the end of the day when you brought back a a diehard, lovable final girl for a very weak reason, all for the sake of giving her more screen time. No, 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 no. Give her more screen time and give her a reason for this screen time. Don't just put her here because that, that just means that you brought her back for the sake of selling tickets. But let me know what you guys think about the idea of Mark Kincaid being Ghostface down in the comment section below or what you would do differently. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.